What does redemption look like? What's it look like? My name's Justin McRoberts. For the last 17 years as an author and as a songwriter, I've, I've chased that down. What's it look like? Trying to paint pictures with words of what does redemption look like so that we can identify it, so that we can dream of it in our own lives. And that pursuit led me into a relationship with Compassion International, which works in the redemption business. And that relationship with Compassion has led me to a lot of your campuses where I've gotten to spend time and meet a lot of you and see you guys sponsor a lot of kids. That has been a gift. And tonight, I get to offer you a gift. What does redemption look like? She's standing right behind me. Her name is Kiwi. Not really, because her name is Kiwani. But her friends call her Kiwi. She grew up in the Philippines. And she's going to tell you her story, which in my eyes is a picture of redemption. Will you please give a great big jubilee welcome to my friend and yours, Kiwi. Hi, guys. It's so awesome to see you a while ago. Had I known that college would look like this, I would get another degree. <laughs> Um, it's so nice to be here. I'm, my name is Kiwani. I'm not from Hawaii. I'm from the Philippines. I was born in a very, very poor family in the southern part of the Philippines. Three brothers ahead of me died of, because of lack of medical attention. My third brother, he was supposed to be born C-section, but my parents can't afford the medical um, needs. So what they did, they opened up my mom without anesthesia. My mom screamed for pain. My mom was alive, but my, my brother did not survive. I remember when I was a kid, I would sleep begging my mom, Mom, I'm still hungry. I want more food to eat. But my parents could not afford even the basic necessities. I remember when apples were imported from America to the Philippines, I would beg my mom, Mom, I want to taste that red apple. How does it taste like? But even a rotten apple, we cannot afford to buy. But you know what? God is good. All the time. My life sta started to change when my alcoholic dad picked out a track on the floor and he went to this crusade. He is drunk all the time, but he, when he m went home for the very first time, he is sober. And my mom was like, what happened to you? What happened to my husband? He's sober. The following day, he went home again, and he is sober again. So my mom was like, are you cheating on me? What's wrong with you? <laughs> and he said, I found Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Isn't God amazing? But I thought, as a young kid, my life would change. Oh, we found Jesus Christ. But I was wrong. We were still poor. I'm like... I thought Jesus is the God of love. Jesus is the God of everything. But why, why do we live like this? Are we cursed? But you know what? At the age of seven, somebody picked out a packet and sponsored me. And on his first letter, he said, Kiwi, you are pretty. Kiwi, you are beautiful in the sight of God. And Jesus loves you. I begin to wonder, maybe God looks at me as beautiful. I'm not just a statistic. Maybe God looks at me with love. He cares for me. So I started to go to the Compassion Project. And somebody from Compassion said, you know what, Kiwi, this might be your situation. But the truth in God's word, it says in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, Kiwi. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So I begin to dream dreams. I begin to pray to the Lord. He said in his word, if you seek me, you will find me. If you seek me with all your heart. I told the Lord, Lord, I want to get out of this. I want to go to college. I want to take up something and get a degree. And, but I said, how? How, Lord? In the Bible, he said, is there anything too hard for me? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. And somebody from Compassion told my mom, your daughter is going to college. And that lady who's standing in front of you is now a physical therapist. God is so amazing. God is just so amazing. 
I told the Lord, Lord, I graduated not only graduated college, but I topped my exam in the board of physical therapist. When I received that medal, I told, I told the Lord, I want to meet my sponsors and tell them how grateful I am. They j just didn't change my life, but the life of my family, because now my mom is a pastor in a small community church in the Philippines. God is not, he, he is amazing. He works in ways that we could never imagine. And then three years ago, I got married. I told my mom, my parents to come over to America. And you know where I, w I took them? I took them to an apple orchard. <laughs> my dad was picking out apples from the ground, but I told him, no, we pick apple from the trees. Um, two years ago, God has blessed me to sponsor two kids from the Philippines, and I went home. I told my sponsor children, hang in there. God has a plan for you. He can take you out of poverty, and you will realize one day you're standing in front of other people, testifying that our God is good, our God is awesome. And you know what's, awesome? what's more awesome? He chooses me, chooses you, chooses people to change other people's lives. So I give God the glory and honor and praises. Be unto Him forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much.